right, so I have a chipmunk problem. Again, like usual, but this time this chipmunk is really becoming a very big problem to me because he's really starting to annoy me and he's causing damages in, in my greenhouse and my garden outside. And I just want to show you some of what this chipmunk is doing, which I kind of find a little strange behavioral-wise. And so I figured I'd share that with you guys. So... What I do is I have a cage set up here, a trap, a catch and release, and that way I can catch them and I can bring them to a state park and just get rid of them, okay? So I got one in here and I can't catch him because he's too smart. He, he knows that that's a trap, but he does manage to get in there and get out somehow. Once in a while he does it. What happened was is I, I built a bird feeder and I had my bag of seed. I left it here one night. I accidentally left that bag of seed here overnight, forgot to bring it in. And within the next morning when I came out here, there was a big hole in the bag. Seed was everywhere and I had to bring the bag in. So what the chipmunk was doing is it wasn't actually eating all the seed. What the chipmunk does is it takes the seed... It fills its pouch up in its mouth, and it what it does is it goes to my planters here, like over here, for example, and it takes the seed and it, it buries the seed, I guess, for, you know, like what you would do if you were going to put your food in a refrigerator, right? You just kind of put it away somewhere, and when you're ready to eat it later, you dig it up and you eat it. Well, that's what he's doing, and he's planting this seed that I bought from my bird seed. And so it's basically weed seeds. They're seeds for weeds. And so what the chipmunk is doing is it's going into my pots. And he's digging holes and he's planting a seed in here. He's putting seed all over my pots. And it's starting to sprout now. So he's creating a problem where the seed is beginning to, uh, you know, sprout and become weeds that I got to constantly pull. And it's bad enough, I got to pull the existing weeds out like you see here. You know, I got to pull... I got a weed here all the time, but I'm used to these weeds, and they're generally pretty easy to pull, and it's bad enough I have to do that. So now I got to start pulling weeds out from what the chipmunk is doing. So he's taking, he's filling up his pouch, he's going into my pots, and he's planting these seed piles. And when, it, when the plants, when you plant these kind of plants together in the seed pile, very close together, it's very hard to get them up. You have to like use a shovel, dig them up, knock the dirt off them, and then, you know, get them out. And so one of the other things too about the problem with this is he's digging he's digging holes right next to my plant starts, and he's basically killing some of my plant starts. So he's damaged a number of plants that I've already started that are now either broken off or ripped up by the roots and dried by the sun and just damaged. He killed a bunch of my plants by him digging. He's not eating the plants. He's digging them up so he can put the seed in there and destroying my starts. So here's, I'll give you an example. He came out here to do it. And he's probably did it all over my garden in here. He's coming out here. He's digging holes. And... Like right here. See, I already pulled some of this up. He's digging holes and he's putting the seed in there. While he's doing that, he's also breaking the stems of my plants. <coughs> These are just starting to come out of transplant shock now. And so now he's breaking the stems that are coming out of... I, it just This animal is really, 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 really getting to me. He's really testing my, my temperature here. And so I have to deal with him. And catching a chipmunk is not an easy task. My cat can't catch him. Right, Chico? Chico. Yeah, he's busy. You know why he's 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 looking for a place he could drop drop a little package. Which is good. I don't mind him going back there to do it. Only he's not doing it in my garden. He goes back there, he takes a dump. But he looks for the chipmunks. He chases them around. He's even caught one once in a while. And he brings him over by me, he lets him go, and the chipmunk runs away, and he doesn't do that. He just sits there and looks at it, expects me to go over and, and start eating a chipmunk. He's stupid. He's a little bit on the retarded side, I'm, I'm afraid to say, when it comes to chipmunks. Mice, he's pretty good with mice. He gets those, he kind of eats half of them and leaves me half. I guess he's, you know, he's trying to, he don't want to be greedy, you know, so it gives me the lower half. But the chipmunks, no, he drops those, he expects me to, like, I don't know, serve them up for dinner or something, but... 
they get away. And so because of this reason, he can never get them. He chases them all over the yard most of the time. He never catches them. He just like chases them and then he stops and watches them. He's a, he's a freak. The cat is a freak. So he's not helping when it comes to these chipmunks. I tried tr using traps. They're not helping. See, here's another one. You can see where the chipmunk is planting these batches of, uh, here it is. They're planting the batches of seeds. You can see them coming up in clusters. You, you, these are going to be popping up all over around my garden now. Uh, which that means I got to go in and start pulling that out. Normally, when a weed comes up in my garden, it'll come up like that, just one little plant like that. When you see these big clusters coming up, no, that's that's bird seed he planted, and now they're coming up all over my garden, in bunches like that. So yeah, it's a problem, and he, he's just gonna continue to do this, and he's doing it in my pots as well as outside. So I'm not exactly sure how to deal with this chipmunk now. Some people suggested to me I get a gallon of water, a five-gallon pail of water, and float a layer of, I guess, seed of some type. I guess, um, like, sunflower seeds. They'll float on the top. You can put, like, a half-inch layer. It'll float right on the top like a layer. The, the chipmunk's not going to know, so he's going to jump right in there. And once he gets in there, he can't get out. So I need to build something like that where he can go in you, you can't just put a five gallon pail here and expect that chipmunk to climb up that pail to get into your seats he's not going to do that he's he you need to build like a ramp for him to go in see the seeds there and then drops into the pail that will work if you could do that but you have to build something for it so i'm going to try that next and if it works, it works. Unfortunately, what happens with the chipmunk after that is he's going to drown. And I don't necessarily want to kill the animal. I just don't want it in my greenhouse anymore. So we will be trying that next if he doesn't go for the seed here. He's got a chance here because I will catch him and I will release him in, an, in a, you know, a half a mile away from here or something. So he'll be gone. He'll be out of here. But he won't be dead. But if I can't, then I'm going, going to have to go to the water method and we'll see if that catches him. The odd thing, though, I find about this chipmunk that he's showing you that I'm planting the seeds, a lot of the times he plants those seeds right where I just got done planting a plant or digging. So it's almost like the, the, the chipmunk is actually mimicking what I'm doing or it's communicating with me in, in, in a very strange way. It almost seems that way because wherever I plant something or I do something, I'll notice that he'll, there'll be a dig hole and then there, the seed will be in there and he'll cover it up. I won't even notice it. He covers, he actually covers his holes good enough where I can't even notice it a lot of times. he It's like he planted the seed. So it, it's almost as if this chipmunk is watching me. So it's a very strange thing going on with this chipmunk. I, I definitely, um, I, I'm definitely going to explore different options on catching them and releasing them, but... Just thought I'd share that, see if there's morning snake here. No, I got the snake wet the other day. He didn't like that. Hopefully he comes back. But, yeah, the snakes don't eat the chipmunks. Nothing eats them. They're, they're, virtually, imper they're virtually impervious chipmunks, you know. And then they go back in these spots back here and they make nests and I can't even get rid of them. I... They're worse than voles or mice or field mice or anything. These things are can be a real serious problem. I remember my brother had a problem with chipmunks getting into his, his engine on his car. They would make nests in there and they would chew the wires up in his car. And he couldn't get rid of it. He couldn't get them out of his car, believe it or not. He couldn't get them out of the engine. It was like an a area in the engine. They would just, they would literally, uh, you know, make a nest and you couldn't get to it anywhere. And they would live in there. He would drive around with them things living underneath the, the uh, underneath the hood. Just, you know. So, it, yeah, they're a problem. And so we'll slowly try to figure out what we can do. I've, I've even tried poison. Those things, uh, you know, the weird thing about these chipmunks is they're actually a lot more intelligent than you think. The, he knows that that's a trap. So he, you know what he does? He tries to knock the trap over. He tries to claw at it. And he, he ends up setting the trap off. He doesn't go in there, but because he claws at it and it does all that stuff, he sets it off and then he runs away. He knows it's a trap. He knows if he goes in there. But one time I did have peanut butter on that, on on the inside over there. There's a little plate. It had some peanut butter. I stuck some seed to it. He did get in there and eat it, but he didn't set the trap off. He knows not to sit on the plate. 
he sits behind, he stands behind the plate and he just licks off the peanut butter off the top of the plate. He doesn't set the trap off. And this trap is very sensitive. I mean, I can set that off with dropping a little twig on top of it. It'll set it off. It's just, it, he's incredible. This, this chipmunk is, I could probably turn him into a circus act, this thing. It's, it's incredible how smart this thing is. I'd like to catch him, to be honest with you, and set up a small habit trail in my greenhouse. <laughs> you remember the habit trails? Remember th those little tubes that used to run around? Those clear things, and there's all kinds of stuff in there. And I'd like to set up a habit trail for him and just put him in my greenhouse and let him live in the habit trail. That would be really cool, actually. But those things are expensive. I, I don't know. They're, they're quite... They're not as... I remember when I was a kid, they were cheaper to, to get the habit trail parts. Now they're quite expensive, so... I don't think I'll be doing a habit trail thing, but yeah, they're cool, you know. But anyway, I don't know. I got to figure something out now to try to deal with this chipmunk because he's very stealthy. He knows when I'm here. He knows when I'm not here. There's times he comes out, he confronts me, and he challenges me almost like, like, what are you going to do about it? Your cat can't catch me. You ain't going to catch me. And he just kind of wanders away like, there ain't nothing you can do. It's... It's to a point where it's starting to really get to me. I'm really starting to get, you know, really frustrated with this thing. I'm to a point where I'm going to be sitting out here with my 22, and I'm just going to start picking them off with a 22. I really don't want to do that, but, you know, I mean, what am I, What else am I supposed to do here, you know? I'm just, you know. And I don't want to go shooting a 22 around in my greenhouse because if you miss, you start blowing holes in your greenhouse. I don't want to start doing that, you know? Or if it ricochets and hits something and bounces back or breaks something, I don't really, you know, this thing's fast. He moves, he's going to cause problems. So, I don't know. That's my, my little chipmunk saga. I'll see if I'll bring you in the back. And with the, you know, it, it, he's also got like a part-time, you know, a, a summer house in here. Like he comes in, he sleeps in here part-time. But really his, his real uh, function is all the way back here. He comes from all the way back here. He fills his cheeks up full of seed, and then he goes back here, and he comes all the way from back here to get into my greenhouse. Isn't that something? This is where his home is. You know, and he wasn't coming into my greenhouse in the beginning until I started coming back here to clean up. It didn't happen until, because I, I pulled all this stuff out of here, out of the back. I cleaned up back here. And ever since I did that, this thing must have followed me into my greenhouse. They live underneath this thing where all the wood is. There's the logs. Now I gotta move all this stuff to get. Oh my god, you know? It's like when does when does it end with these things, you know? So I'm gonna end up having to be sitting out here with a 22 and just start taking pops at them. Just gonna have to start shooting at them. I don't know what else to do. Every time I see him, I'm gonna shoot at him. Because, like I say, Chico's, he's kind of, <laughs> he's a little bit on the retarded side. He doesn't know how to catch him. I'll show you some of the holes, too. I don't want this to be a long video, guys, but, you know, I, I don't know what else to to say about it. See, like, there's holes. There's holes all over my yard, you know, all over back here. There must be a whole network of chipmunk holes back here. They pop in and out like golfers. They run around here. If I could see one, I, you know, you don't see them this time of the day. You don't usually see them until about midday when they want to start getting, when they want to start eating. You know, Chico's running around. Chico, get me, get, get, Chico, get me a chipmunk. Go in that hole and get that chipmunk. See, he knows where the chipmunks are. He sits there and waits for him and everything. He doesn't do anything with him. <laughs> you know what it is? I gotta stop feeding him. Stop feeding him for a day or two. Really make him hungry. Those chipmunks, he'll be bringing half a chipmunks up to my back door. Guaranteed. It's because I overfeed him. I give him too much food. He's overfed. So he lets him go. If he wasn't fed, he'd be eating those chipmunks like they were snacks. So, anyways, if you guys have any experience with chipmunks or you're having problems with chipmunks or what's your experience, share your thoughts, share your experiences and your, your, your problems you've had with these things. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.